Neighbors watched in shock today as two bodies were carried out of a home on Reed Miller Avenue this afternoon. Fox 55's Gentil Neal was there as officers worked the scene and talked to a neighbor who called police. Not one, but two bodies were found here inside a home on Reed Miller Avenue Monday afternoon, shocking neighbors like Bonnie Godey. Godey says she called police because she hadn't seen her neighbor in several days. I got a little concerned about him because there was newspapers that hadn't been brought in, and uh, uh, I knew that his car was in the garage, so then I called the police to do a wellness check. Her neighbor and one more person were inside, dead. For how long is a mystery. Oh, well, there was three newspapers that we could see. And then when the snow went, there was eight newspapers that were not brought in. And he always brought his newspaper, and he always read his newspaper. Godie says she called the jail and the hospital before calling police, and that's what brought police here. Police found one man and one woman inside. But neighbors say the man is a resident of over 25 years in this home. That's how Godie became familiar with him. I don't even know if he had any family. Um, but he was always friendly. Fort Wayne Police Sergeant Sophia Rosales Catina says they don't yet know the cause or manner of death. As they investigate, she says even small interactions with your neighbors can make a difference to make sure your community is safe. There is no better source of community protection than uh, vigilant neighbors. Uh, being one and having one um, is always a good thing. So we do encourage people to talk to their next door neighbors. If Godie hadn't followed her gut, there's no telling how long he would have been there. He'll be missed. He'll really be missed. Police have very little information to go on right now. They're waiting on the Allen County Coroner's Office to release the identity of both victims after next of kin is notified. If you know anything about what happened, you're asked to contact the police.